Hello and welcome to Moto for Cinema 4D Artists. Moto is a very powerful and flexible 3D application, and even if you're primarily a Cinema 4D artist, Moto can be a great tool to add to your arsenal. Moto has a number of strengths that can be leveraged in your pipeline, but transitioning to a new piece of software can sometimes be a little bit daunting. So in this series of lessons, we'll learn to work in Moto from the perspective of a Cinema 4D artist. We'll start by discussing the interface and learn how the different areas correspond to the familiar Cinema 4D interface. We'll continue by learning to navigate the 3D view, learn some common hotkeys, and learn how to change Moto's navigation to match the Cinema 4D navigation that we're used to. Next, we'll learn about how Moto deals with objects, specifically the difference between mesh items and components and how we can move geometry around within those items. Next up, we'll be working with tools in Moto how to apply those tools, and an explanation of the very flexible tool pipe. We'll also cover the use of action centers and falloffs to really customize how our tools affect models across their surfaces. We'll learn about Moto's shader tree and how we can use this layer-based workflow to add materials and textures to our scenes. We'll also cover creating renders in Moto and using the preview viewport to quickly develop the look of our scenes. We'll finish up by learning the basics of animation from a Moto perspective and talk about moving files between Moto and Cinema 4D. And once we're done, you'll have a much better idea of the differences and the similarities between Cinema 4D and Moto, and you'll be able to start using the strengths of Moto as you integrate it into your Cinema 4D pipeline. So let's get started by just taking a quick look at the Moto interface. 